friends. Hi, everybody. We are so glad you are back with us. I'm Miss Jenny. Miss Clendonna. And we are Cooking with Christ. Blink, blink, blink. So we're continuing. Great stories. Yes, with more great stories from the life of Jesus. And today we're talking about Easter. Ooh, that's right. So we're it's talking about Easter. It is a big one. We're starting basically with the end. Mm -hmm. So Jesus passed. Jesus was on the cross. Yes. And all his friends were so, so very sad. They thought he was gone forever. But the one thing that Jesus said is, don't worry. I'm coming back. I'll see you. I'll see you very soon again. And so his friends got Jesus and took him to the cave or the tomb where they're going to lay his body down. That's right. And then they put, um, they decided they were going to anoint his body with special oils and spices. spices. And they wrapped his body in, in some linens. Mm -hmm. they, some fabrics. Yes, they were taking very good care of their very, very special right. friend. That's right. Then they rolled a rock in front of this big tomb or this cave. big cave. And this rock was so huge that it was not just a one person job or probably a two person job. It was a lot of people job to seal off this tomb, but something pretty amazing happened. It was three days later. That's right. Three days later, some of his friends decided to, to go to the tomb and see what I guess was going on and make sure he was okay. And that massive rock is gone. It was moved out of the way. And when they looked inside the tomb, there was nothing there. Jesus was out. Jesus was gone. What kind of stuff is that? It was, that was amazing. They would later find out that, you know, he wasn't there. Yeah. He wasn't dead. He was not. He had come back. Just like he said. Just like he said. Which is a, an amazing, amazing thing for all of us. We know Jesus is alive and he is with each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. I love that. To, so to celebrate that amazing story, we're going to make one of my favorite recipes that I learned actually when I was a grown up. Mm -hmm. And, Me too. and it, it's, it's, an, it's an amazing. It's called empty tomb bread. Yes. Empty tomb bread. So for this craft, mm -hmm. you're going to need quite a bit of help. We're going to use ovens. We're going to use a knife. Yeah, we're going to need some big people. We're going to need some big people help. So we're going to need a marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Ours is a little bit large. Don't do it. You want the regular size. Get the regular. Um, we have some cinnamon. cinnamon. We have some sugar. sugar here. We got packets, but you can use just regular sugar. Mm -hmm. We need butter. We need some butter. I'm gonna reach over here. We got some butter right here. And we have some uh, refrigerated croissant rolls. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start off by creating our tomb. The tomb. The tomb. So you're gonna open your frozen Ref or not refrigerated. Frozen, refrigerated rolls. It always scares me when it pops. <laughs> my husband walks out of the kitchen when I do it. <laughs> Almost like a balloon popping. Yes. It just, I can't. Miss Glenn, I'm going to give you this I, one. Lucky me. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to move this and put yes. right there. Because we have our oven preheated. Yes. And we have, we're following the cooking instructions that are on the back of our croissant thing right here. And it says to preheat our oven to 350? 375. 375. 375. But if you get another croissant, what it, just follow the instructions on, on the packet. So we're going to go ahead and lay it out. And I kind of like to kind of moosh it out. Schmear it a bit. Kind of give him a little space. And this is the base of the tomb. Mm -hmm. So remember what goes in the tomb we the body. is Jesus. So we have our marshmallow mm -hmm. that is going to represent um, 
the body of Jesus. But I will tell you that we got it very excited about um, marshmallows. our marshmallows, <laughs> and we thought bigger was better. It is not. It not is for not, not. Not for, for this craft. craft. So we, for this video, we're going to actually have to cut it down smaller so it works better. I'm going to cut that big one in fours. And I'm going to give my friend. Thank you. That. And then we are going to put it in the tomb. So then we remember from our Easter story that they put oils yes. and spices and on spices. the body. So we have our oil right here, or it is our butter, butter. That, that we have. We're going to use that to put on the thing. I'm going to take a little smidge of butter. And then I'm going to give some to my friend. Thank you. And then we're going to go ahead and smear it smear. Okay. on our marshmallow right here. Okay. And then we have our spices. So we're going to use some cinnamon mm -hmm. as our spice. And we're going to put it. I just, I just added a little bit. You can... You know, I go a little overboard. You do. But you like a little spice. I oh, do like a little spice. You do. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to add a little bit of sugar. Like mm -hmm. I said, we had some random sugar packets. So we're using what we have. Using what we have. So you can put your sugar and we're going to sprinkle it right over our marshmallow. Mm. So now we have Jesus. We have the oils. We have the spices. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they closed up the, closed tomb. Up the tomb. So what we're going to do is fold our croissant around the marshmallow. And you want to make sure and totally close up the marshmallow. Yes. You don't want any of it peeking out. No. And, and sometimes that takes some finagling. Yes. And pinch the sides to make sure it is in there real nice and good. So we have it like that. Oh, yours looks beautiful. First time. Look at you. So we have this in here. So this is, this is our tomb. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and follow the instructions that are on our refrigerated croissants. And it says to put it in the oven for about nine to 12 minutes and through whoop, whoop, super duper magic. Nine to 12 minutes later. Nine to 12 minutes later, yeah. we have our golden empty tombs. That's right. They are, they are golden brown. And some of them may be a little deflated. Some of them may, may look like this, but that is like a little tomb. And so what should happen, <laughs> what should happen when you open the tomb or the bread, there is empty. It is empty. Where did the marshmallow go? So I'm gonna try this one. Oh, look at this one. There is nothing inside it. And it's a delicious treat and an awesome reminder that, yeah, the tomb was empty. He is not in the tomb. He, he is, is with us. He is with us. And I can promise you, my friends, if you make this delicious mm -hmm. treat, it is so good. It is so delicious. It is so yummy and, <laughs> and sweet and a wonderful reminder that God is always with us. He has never left. He is here. And I, I love it. He is risen. Mm -hmm. I love it. So my friends, thank you so much, so, so much for joining us on this wonderful series that we like to call Cooking with Christ. I just, I love this craft so much and um, because when, before I was the director of children's ministry, there were other people here mm -hmm. And I was working in Mother's Day Out, and I considered myself a, a baby Christian. I was learning all the stories of Jesus and God's love. And so they did this particular craft, and it just made it so real to me. I brought it home for you. Brought it home, and I understood more of why God is always with us, and that Jesus is alive, and He is here. He is. And it's... It was just so wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate those ladies and I, I love this craft. I do too. I do.